Well, greetings once again from the Hershey RV Show 2019, America's largest show. Yes, it is Robert here. Oh, <laughs> Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. We follow you all the time. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free. In my RV, yeah. well, as I was saying, no, uh, no video series about the RV show or any RV show for that matter would be complete without checking out Airstream. You know, they're they're kind of like the industry standard for uh, for you know quality craftsmanship, and you know they, and they have the, the the price to prove it too. This is the the, the Atlas, for example. That this is the the B plus or C minus, if you want to call it, I call them C minus, uh, that they that they released a couple of years ago, two hundred and eight thousand uh, dollars here at the RV show. It was originally two forty four. And let me see if I can show you here a little bit. Hi, good morning. And this is of course on the on the brand new uh, Sprinter chassis, the, the twenty twenty the twenty nineteen Sprinter chassis. And of course, this is this is the the epitome of of luxury. Look at this bathroom back here is a so large shower head of course although it is it is a plastic toilet here we have a, a sliding door and you have a fantastic vent here on the or fantastic style vent i don't know if it is fantastic brand here in the back lots of storage back here this is a, wardrobe closet here. I like the fact that the light turns on automatically. Okay, sir. Good luck. It's a Thank you. Bye -bye. Relatively small convection microwave up here. And uh, we have a absorption style refrigerator. No, this is compressor, isn't it? Yeah, it is compressor. Yeah, it's a compressor. Yeah, com compressor. So this is an all electric rig or uh, no, you have the refrigerator's a all the refrigerator, but you have a you have a propane uh, yes. range here. Propane yeah, okay. Furnace. Perfect. I see you have the the multiplex wiring with everything being controlled by by tablet style tablet style uh, display there. And this is of course a Murphy bed unit yes. that comes down with a, on, a, on a slide on that side. And of course, TV perfect placement in front of your couch yeah, where TV. it should be. Don't put it up here, guys. This is where it has yeah. to be. Yeah. This is theater seating. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. Do you have a, a unit that has this, the the ceramic toilet, or are they all plastic? We do not. All's are, all are. They're, they're all the toilet. plastic Weight toilet. savings, plastic. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is the Atlas, of course, Tony Bahama uh, series. Of course, on this printer chassis. Actually, this is what they call the. Uh, the let me continue here. This is the Caravel. I don't know what the difference between the Caravel. I think the, some of these used to be called the Bambi, and this is a, the very small one. And this would be fifty-five thousand dollars, fifty-five five hundred four. And this uh, this is sixteen uh, footer. Oh. oh, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Hey, Robert, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. All right. Love your work. Thank you. And uh, this one here, we have a dinette in the front. And a bed, actually for something this small, this is pretty cool that you have a separate bed from the dinette and the two burner range. It's a rather shallow um, um, sink here at the, at, the, at the kitchen, but it's really cool. This is a nice blackout domestic shade there. And uh, of course the, the TV, you can have it here so you can watch it in bed or you can put it this way so you can watch it from, from the dinette. And this, I bet you said, well, it's, a, it's a kind of a wet bath, but it's uh, one of the larger ones. And uh, with a sit-down area there is very cool. And I assume this would be a closet area. Yes, wardrobe closet and a spot to put your garbage can, which is very, very important. Let's keep going here. I decided to return here to the entrance to the beginning to show you the, the nest, which is a unit, oddly enough, it is a... a um, Fiberglass unit is not aluminum like the rest of the uh, 
Airstream, this one will retail for almost short of 40,000 original MSRP 44. And uh, let me show you inside. It is a small unit, but as you know, this, this, uh, this uh, fiberglass units are nearly indestructible. Here you have the, the U-shaped dinette that I assume turns into a bed. Some storage up here with no doors. This is uh, rather minimalistic uh, for, for Airstream here and uh, the sink is nice. Well, check that out. That's the, the power. The, the power outlets. You get two power outlets and, um, and two USB. And I like the fact that they one of them is reversed. So if you sometimes you have those uh, power bricks that would interfere with each other and uh, in this case they wouldn't cable and satellite and uh, yeah um, uh, this is probably a wet bath here yeah wet bath it's a decently sized oh, look at this shower head that's pretty cool and uh, here's a Norcold, uh, and this is a absorption, absorption refrigerator, and you, here you have a microwave space-saving appliance. This is not, that is not a con convection, that's a regular microwave there, and uh, that's the, the Airstream. Let me see if we have some information about the systems. The, the appliances, Gali Lounge, exterior. I'm trying to see. Exterior length, 16.7. Okay, you get a 24 gallon fresh water tank and a 30 gallon combination black and gray tank. And uh, I wonder what, why, why a combination black and gray tank? I'm gonna ask. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is the Bambi. I really, I, I, I really uh, like this Bambi unit, especially this corner bed unit because of the floor plan. It does uh, it take advantage of space very well. It's, uh, it's a dry weight of 3650, so it's a little heavier than what I have. You can sleep four. But it's really, in, in this size, it's probably a two-person camper. 27 gallons of fresh water and uh, and I believe I am next in line here to see it. Exterior length 1811. Yeah, 27 fresh, 28 gray, and 18 black. Which that should get you through three or four days for sure if you're judicious with your water consumption. Let me show you here on the right hand side. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll show you the back first. Here we have a corner bed. Please keep off the bedding, yeah. Um, I, sh I shouldn't be able to test whether I fit on the bed or not, but I probably do. It's, you know what it is. And here's uh, the toilet. So it is a, a, it is a hold and press. Whoa. <laughs> All right. And this is, uh, it's a, actually a nice shower. And a very nice, very, very spacious for a trailer of this size. And, uh, and then it goes boom there here's the toilet here's the sink Every, everything is separate the toilet the sink and uh, pretty good surface area there to put like your toiletries and stuff and, uh, and I guess this is a multi configuration door you could put it like that if you are in the loo and somebody else is out here and uh, and I guess you could also also put it this way when you are not using the bathroom and then you have a little more room here to access your bed and all that stuff Nova cool refrigerator let's see what this is this is it is a, a all-electric compressor refrigerator I mean standard kitchen no no convection microwave so you have no oven of any kind here and up here you have of course all this storage which, because of the shape of the Airstream, you, you lose a little bit of room there because of that curved shape. You know, Airstream is one of those things that either you love it or, uh, or, or hate it, and they do last a long time because, but because of the quality construction. But, and I love, I love this 
big, you know, huge panoramic window here, especially right next to where you're gonna be spending most of your time, which is in this dinette table, which is pretty large. And this, of course, will also uh, convert into a bed, I'm sure. Hey, look at that, you have like a, like a whiteboard to write stuff down. Yeah, this Bambi side, the, 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 the floor plan, it is uh, very, it, 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 it's, it's very efficient in the way it, uh, it utilizes space. This is the, here this is the, the base camp, which is very minimalistic, in the sense it's very small. And here you have this sleeping area in the back, you, you have the, these two tables and the kitchen in the front. And uh, you can have a tent here, so you get more space. And let me just look real quick in here. This is the, the kitchen area with the, with the range and the, and the sink, standard stuff. It also has that all electric refrigerator and a wet bath, which it's adequate. I mean, this unit, this is very, very, very small. Uh, let me see if there's some information about it somewhere around here. Oh, it does come with the Truma. Base Camp X, here we go. And it's 16.3 long, which is, if, if it, not, it looks sm smaller than that, but it's very narrow, as you can see. It is a seven uh, feet at the uh, wide, at the, at the widest place. And uh, doo -doo -doo. it does have a gray black water combo. Okay, I was going to ask, but I think I just figured it out. When they say gray black water combo in gallons, that means that it's the combination of both tanks. It is 29. It wouldn't be a, just one tank for both, right? So, but it would be it would be good to 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 know which is which, you know. Here's the Truma. Here we go. Fresh, black. Hmm. At least they have the sea level, which is uh, it, it is an ultrasonic uh, system that goes on the outside of the tank, so it's much more accurate. Uh, the, you know, the sensors never get dirty, so you you, you always get a. Uh, an accurate reading. I had a question about uh, when you when you say combination black and gray water yes. uh, tanks. Is that just one tank for both, or it's yes, one tank for both? All dumps into one tank. You treat it more as a black tank. Than okay. A gray tank. All right. The reality is it does a couple things. One, it kind of helps keep the tank a little bit more cleaner because you're just not putting dirty dirty water in it. You're kind of putting the cleaner of the two into it. Okay. And then also, you never want to travel with an empty black tank. You always want to have a little bit of water in right, it. Right, yeah. Or it's like glue. It's like an epoxy. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, right. But, but the reality is that kind of helps with that as well. Yeah, I, had, I hadn't seen that approach only only on, on, on Airstreams. Yep. Yeah, everybody uh, else uses it. We advertise it. There's a lot of other manufacturers in the single market that's going to have two separate tanks. The, mm -hmm. the reason why maybe you see it a little bit more on an Airstream, we put our tanks below the flat excuse me, below mm -hmm. the floor rail. Yeah. So our tanks are not inside. They're all beneath an enclosed, a heated, and insulated underbelly. Mm -hmm. So all kind of housed right underneath there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's it, it, in, in, well, you, you, you would only dump once, and then I guess you would have to flush it from time to That's time. Exactly yeah, right. yeah. And all of our units have a tank flush. Oh, perfect. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate yeah. you. Okay, now let's look at some of these uh, interstate units, which of course are built on the on the Sprinter chassis, and this is a short one actually. Combi luxury on board. That's the, the Truma Combi, which is both a um, which is both a water heater and a furnace. And here, yeah, this is the the, the brand new uh, Sprinter uh, uh, chassis here, and this is. You know, it's it's basic. It's very short. I bet you this is probably under 19 feet long, and I don't see here. Here's the interstate. 19. Yeah. And the, and the good thing with this interstate is uh, I I don't know if 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 it, it would be suitable for full timing because. You, 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 you would have very little storage and of course every night you would have to convert this, uh, this sofa into a bad, bad area. But uh, for a touring coach, this is really cool and, and um, if you want to one night, because why not, you want a stealth camp, 
in a city or somewhere like that, you just look like a van. And this thing, 19 feet long, that, that, that's the size of a, of a large uh, parking spot, of one of the larger ones. So this is probably shorter than, than your F-250 truck, uh, <laughs> something like that. This is a four-wheel drive, which is, I'm very intrigued that they, 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 lately they, they keep doing this, uh, these vans. On the, I've seen more and more of the four-wheel drive sprinter van. And that, of course, it is uh, cool if you want to be off-road. Oh, it is empty. <laughs> I thought they were offering wine to our potential customers here. Anyways, I, 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 I like the interstates. The only thing I don't like with the, some of these, uh, you know, true Class B uh, RVs, which we, we, we are just built inside the, 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 the van body. Besides the, the Sprinter van being the narrower of, of, of the bunch, it's like it's kind of cookie cutter. Every, uh, every one of them uh, has the same floor plan. You know, the galley on the left, and then you have bathroom and closet or refrigerator some of them put the refrigerator underneath but it's a uh, pretty much very similar and then the sofa bed in the back I would really really like to see some innovation uh, in, in floor plans uh, in these units let me let, let's let's circle around here and see a couple more uh, of the towables of the Airstream I wanted to see the, the there, there's a classic which was the okay this is the globe trotter and as you can see, this is very long. This would be another a unit more suitable for full-time use. Actually, let me, let me. This is the 30RB Copenhagen cream, and let me just do a quick. Yeah, I, I love those. Uh, those panoramic windows there. This is a three-way nor Norcold, or maybe two-way. I think it's three-way it's three wardrobe closet. Let's take a quick look here at the at the shower. And as you can see, everything is is very beautiful, very high quality as it usually is with Airstream. Lots of counter space here. Even a garbage receptacle there. And very nice large sitting area here at the front. Let me see, I'm, I'm really looking for, there was one unit that was the classic, that was like, um, that it even had like a, like, a, like a home theater inside. Let me see if I can find it. And uh, it was the classic. I believe this is probably it right here. This is the classic 30 RBQ. No, this isn't it. It might be this one then. The 33 FBT. And this uh, was uh, the one unit that, yeah, that has the, the smart control technology, which is similar to that system that I, that I uh, had. It, it comes with a, a unlimited AT&T, if I am not mistaken. Hi. And yes, this is the unit I was talking about. Of course, this is a, a twin bed unit, but I do believe they have a, a walk around bed unit as well. I mean, look at this sleep mode. Where, when you put it in sleep mode, it uh, it it's in dims all the night lights. I mean, it's really, it's it's really really cool. And what I like about this unit the most, I mean, besides the huge uh, counter space and all the seating arrangement, is this home theater. It's a pull down screen, and uh, it does convert into a desk area here as well if you want to work from the road as many of us do nowadays. Let me show you the bathroom back here real quick. And look at this. This is very, very luxurious. And you have a nice window in the bathroom just in case 
you want to see the, the scenery while you take a shower or while you are in the loo, as they say in Great Britain. A little bit of uh, medicine cabinet storage here. And yeah, this got to be my favorite part. If we were going to go by with something this big, you have this nice uh, uh, sofa here. And then the sofa in front of your TV, Bose audio, you have a Bose uh, sound bar. And uh, if you dim all the lights in here and you close the, 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 the skylight, this would look uh, uh, particularly amazing. <laughs> and uh, my favorite feature also, it converts into a desk. Oh, you, you, have, you have more speakers down there. It converts into a desk where you can... Actually, I would like to see another desk on that side because, you know, there's two of us who work, who would potentially work from the road. Yeah, nice dip sink where you can fit all your large pots and pans. Very cool. These are cool. Let me see how much this uh, epitome of uh, Airstream luxury would cost you. Well, here at the show, $135,000, of course, 169 uh, MSRP, but you can have it for $747 a month. And the tanks are probably humongous here. This is a 33 exterior length and um, fresh water. This one has the, sep the separate fresh water. This one has the separate fresh gray and black water. 54 fresh, 37 gray and 39 black. I have 25 and I think that's large. 39, that, that, that's a lot of poop, guys. Anyways, I just wanted to show you all the, the extremes, you know, and uh, okay, let's do one more. This is the Flying Cloud 30 FB, which I am I'm sure it stands for front bed. 87,000 here at the show. 107 normally, 480 if you want to mortgage it out. And um, here's an island bed in the front, and you have that very nice panoramic window right, right at your bed rest there, at your, at your headrest. And this one, well, the TV is perhaps not in the, not the largest or in the best position there, but it is nice. You can both sit on this side of the, of the U-shaped dinette and you can watch TV. There's this sofa here. I would like to see a TV here, actually, somewhere. And um, the galley, very nice. I mean, Airstream is doing this very nice, very large, very deep uh, sinks here in their bathrooms, which I kind of like. This is, is this that, uh, this, no, is this a furian, furian, that looks like a nice um, range there, nice knobs. Domatic three-way or two-way, I don't know exactly uh, what they are, but it is absorption type, so it works on propane as well as uh, electrical. Oh, oh, this is cool. You have your corner bed back here, but if you had uh, a small member of the family, even a fur baby, they could sleep up here and you have another TV there in the bed which I assume you could move and position it so you can actually there yeah so you can watch TV as you are cuddling with your better half and here's the bathroom actually it's pretty pretty uh, spacious and if you would get bored and you would want to see the scenery outside, yes, of course, you do have windows. The sink is a little on the smallest side, but, you know, everything is a compromise in an RV. And this is a ceramic a toilet. Very nice domestic ceramic toilet. And the shower, it is fairly spacious. I mean, if you are six feet tall or, or taller than that, you may have uh, trouble fitting here. But I'm 5'10". You know, I'm in that sweet spot where I'm not too tall or too short, and yeah, this is cool. Hold, I'm pressing hold. That's the part that I didn't read on the previous one. And this is almost like a squeegee system that it, that it will, it will um, dry your shower curtain. All right, I think we've seen enough uh, airstreams for one day. Let's continue and check out some of the other RVs here at the Hershey RV show, which is slowly and slowly getting more and more crowded, which means that 
in about an hour or so, I might get out of here and start doing some touring around the area. <laughs>